everybody welcome back to the channel nice to see you again i'm in the garden we're looking at the pond it's been a while so i thought i'd give you a bit of an update i won't bore you with the trials and tribulations of why i've not made any videos for a while but we're back we're making some more if you want to know more about that go and watch my last live stream i'll link it up there but the pond is done and it's been done for a while and i don't think i've made a video talking about what we changed what went right what went wrong and what's working and what's not so i thought i'd take you around and we can have a look at it the first thing to note is we started this as it being my wife's pond and her wanting a nature pond where it was just going to be something that we left and let animals come and inhabit so hopefully we would get newts and things like that but we quickly decided that she really liked the goldfish that we had in the little patio pond so we moved them in here and added a few more so it's now a goldfish pond uh, the garden in and of itself as you can see, it's got this lovely fake grass, which we don't like, but it's very, very, very expensive to remove. So we're stuck with it for a while. So we were kind of worried about whether or not the wildlife would find its way in here. I don't know if newts and frogs and things are going to traverse across all this artificial wasteland. So for now, we've got something that's very beautiful and it works. The key feature of this pond is obviously that it is solar powered. It doesn't cost anything to run. We've got a couple of these little solar fountains as well as the bog filter, which is run by a solar panel. That all works pretty well. Um, on a more overcast day like this, the battery and the solar panels uh, setup does most of the heavy lifting rather than the solar panel itself. But so far, touch wood, I've not had to take away the battery and charge it artificially. It has been running now for a couple of months quite well. How it fares in winter, it might be a different story, but for now it works quite well. Uh, we run the, the pump for the entirety of the day, which filters it, and then it goes off at night time. I have had people sharing their concerns that, oh, you're killing off all the beneficial bacteria. I'm not. If you are one of those people, you're wrong. Uh, the beneficial bacteria can more than happily live overnight. Um, it retains the water in the pump. It stays quite dry, uh, quite moist rather. So the bacteria can live through the night and then kick in again in the morning when it starts cycling through again. Zero problems on that front, so everything's looking pretty good. The overall aesthetic of the pond, um, we're kind of done. We want to add more plants around the outside, but on the inside we've got quite a lot of plants. We've got a lot of um, marginals, we've got lilies, some of these, uh, I call them weedies because I can't remember what they're actually called. Um, but lots of cover for the fish lots of plants to soak up any excess nitrates and when I say cover for the fish we've actually had some fry we've got a load of baby fish in here I'll take you and show you some of them because I've, I've moved some of them out but there's still a whole buttload in here and um, so the fish are obviously quite happy they're doing really well I've put in a few extra features like we've got this um, concrete thing that's from an old fountain um, that they can go and hide inside if the storks storks herons come around um, but touch wood we haven't seen any problems with the herons yet and like I say there's plenty of places to hide in here should that happen so all in all I think it's looking quite good so in terms of it not being a wildlife pond anymore because we've got the goldfish in it that is true to an extent but that hasn't stopped a plethora of all kinds of creepy crawlies and wild and wonderful things coming in here so we've got all kinds of things from mosquito larvae to various other bugs and things in the water not seen any newts or anything like that obviously but all kinds of insects life that is then attracting all the birds so the birds are coming down to feed on the insects so whether it's the dragonflies or the water boatmen or whatever it might be they have a feed on them as well as having a drink or a bath in here and then at night time we've even seen the foxes and stuff come out and have a little sip and have a, a frolic around the pond they haven't been any interest in the, the goldfish or anything but they've come and they've had a drink and played around in the pond so there's all kinds of animal life around here and it is visiting it so who knows what we'll see over time and um, so it has kind of worked to the best of both worlds us having the goldfish and getting a little bit of wildlife around here too in terms of feeding the fish, they've obviously got a plethora of insects in there, there's loads of mosquito larvae and stuff that they can feed off, but I am exclusively feeding these, uh, it's the Fluval bug bites, goldfish formula, goldfish flakes and goldfish pellets. Um, pellets are a lot easier to feed because you can just fling them in and they're a good size and the fish really do go for them. I do have to say for the first few weeks that we had the fish, 
they were terrified of us. <laughs> so it took a while before they would get used to us being around, but now they don't hide from us anymore and they're starting to associate me with food so they know that it's all good. So the other thing worth mentioning, I guess, is the water clarity. So if you can see that structure there, that's it's kind of three and a half foot deep. And you can see it pretty well. Um, the water clarity has been really good. So a combination of the plants and the, the bog filter. I've just seen some lightning over there. It's gone well gloomy. Lost my train of thought. So the, the plants and the bog filter are keeping it nice and Clear. Yeah, so especially down at the lower, shallower end. I don't know how well this is coming across on camera, but yeah, it's really, really clear, really healthy, really happy with it. And inside this stuff is where all the fry were hanging around. Um, I can hear the thunder coming now. So I scooped out about 20 or so of the fry. And I've moved them up to the uh, little ponds. I'll take you up there and show you them. But for the big pond, that's about it. Really happy with it. Let me know in the comments anything you think I'm doing wrong or should be doing better. I'm not an experienced pond keeper. But so far so good, I think. And this is my little backyard patio pond. Um, we're having some building work done, so excuse the mess. But in here is the little pond which doesn't have any fish in it. Well, it does now because I've just put some fry in it. But this, a couple of interesting things to talk about here. You might be able to see a plethora of mosquito larvae in there. Am I overusing the word plethora? Loads. Um, and again, I don't know how well this will come across on camera, but down there are a couple of the fry. Really hard to see unless you see them moving but kind of right in the middle of the screen now. There's two or three there. So I've put about 20 that we scooped out of the big pond into here. But this, when we filled it up, it went super green, mega green within days. Uh, and it, it just looked disgusting. But we put in this, so it's like a DIY made um, barley basket. So some barley straw and a little bit of netting. Stuck that in, in literally two or three days. Clear as a bell. So I'm hoping the fry will grow out in here. Um, they'll have plenty of munch on when they get a little bit bigger because there's loads of mosquito larvae in there. There's a filter in there, which is off at the minute, but it's just a, a little DIY filter that I had in here before grow them up to a decent size and then move them back into the, the big pond. So this might be like a bit of a nursery pond, something like that. Oh, Thor's angry. The thunder is coming. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the outdoor ponds, this one and the big one. Finish it now before we get struck by lightning. That's probably the last thing I need at the moment. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or come and join me on a Friday night, 9pm UK time. Most Fridays I do a live stream, missed the last couple, but we should be back on a normally scheduled output from now on, hopefully. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.